Hi there, welcome to uh, Smart Bytes. Um, today I'm going to go over uh, uh, factoring the difference of two squares. Um, difference of two squares you'll see a whole heck of a lot, especially if you're going to stick with, uh, with mathematics. But basically what it says is um, if you have, let's say you have a, a polynomial, okay? Uh, let's say you have something like this. You have a squared minus b squared. Um, basically the difference of squares says that you can write it like this. a minus b times a plus b. What this is saying is, is if we were to multiply these two together, we would get this. And if we were to factor this, we would get this. So, I'm not really sure if that's true. You may not believe me, but, you know, let's try it. Let's, let's just FOIL, okay? If we FOIL this right here, a times a um, is a squared. a times b is a b. Negative b times a is negative a b. And negative b times b is negative b squared. As you can see right here, these two, you can minus those, track those two. And what are you left with? a squared minus b squared. a squared minus b squared. So, if we multiply this together, this is what we get. And this is our final answer. And once again, if we factor it out, this is what we get. Okay, um, let's let's look at another one. Let's let's look at an actual example from a book. We have uh, let's look for a good one here. Okay, how about this? All right, we have okay. We have x squared minus 49 okay x squared minus 49 so remember a squared minus b squared we can write it as a minus b a plus b well if that's the case if we if we apply this rule right here to this then I can write if this is a x and b what squared will give you 49 well 7 right a minus 7 and we've got x I'm sorry this is b <laughs> alright a minus 7 and then we have a plus 7 a plus b so a minus b a plus b x minus 7 x plus 7 okay so if I was to actually multiply these out this is what I'd get so let's look at one that's a little more uh, involved. Uh, not much more, but it's it's a little more involved. Uh, or actually, let me let me ask you to look at it in a whole other way. Let's say um, if this is a little bit easier, maybe let's look at it like this. Um, if this is a and this is b, then I can look at it like this. Uh, I can say x squared minus 7 squared so clearly we can see that this is a in, in this case and this is b so that might be easier to see that way you know maybe with some of the bigger numbers uh, so now we can just say okay a which is x minus b which is 7 times a plus b okay oops a plus b a plus seven okay all right so let's take a one that's just a little more involved okay let's uh looking for a good one here um something a bit more okay let's try this one Let's try this one. Okay. Um, 4. Mm. Let's 
No. Let's try this one. Okay. 100x squared minus 81y squared. Okay. This is just a bit more involved. Um, let's look at, okay, what's A in this case and what is B? Okay. So what I want to do is what squared will make 100 and what squared will give you x squared? Well, I'm going to do this. I'm going to say, well, 10x squared minus what squared will give you 81? Well, 9. 9 will. Uh, and then same thing here. We have a y. And we can say, we can write that squared. Okay, so this is maybe a little bit easier to see here if I write it this way. So now I can say 10x minus 9y times 10x plus 9y. And if we were to multiply this together, we would get what we started with. So don't forget your equal signs. Because um, God knows math teachers will take off points for equal signs. Okay? So uh, that's our final answer. I hope you enjoyed uh, this session. Uh, please join me for more factoring at, uh, here at Smart Bites. All right. See ya.